all right guys we're going on bsg bringing you another grand cross video and we got a few things that we need to cover um you know it might end up being really really hype but we'll see so the first thing we'll cover i'm pretty sure everybody's heard by now is that we're gonna actually be able to get 300 gems from netmarble um i don't know why they did this but i'm pretty sure it has something to do with the next festival unit and i'm pretty sure it has something to do with um you know black clover being a major competitor for this game now i know people have said that before about other gacha games coming out and releasing but black clover is going to actually be in development by the same person who worked on grand cross and you can see the similarities between both of the gotchas so um there is going to be competition i feel like i for one might end up playing black clover because it looks really clean like it looks like clean as hell so uh, we will see what happens with that but 300 gems uh you can get this through logging in right now on global it's not out i don't think um I actually haven't logged into uh, Global Grand Cross, which I might really, which I might do really, really quick, um, just to make sure it's not on there. But um, it is on Korea NJP now. I again, I don't know who the festival unit is, but I'm assuming it has something to do with the festival unit because we just had King come out, right? It's not even had like it hasn't has it been a month? No, I don't think it has been a month since King released. Um, so yeah, another festival unit is gonna drop and we do somewhat have confirmation. Again, um, I don't wanna say confirmed, but it, it, it's pretty much confirmed because right here, shout out to my boy Marilli for this. Um, it says, we are planning to hold a festival update at the end of the year. So um, yeah, it, it's looking like it's gonna be pretty big because again this is probably going to be esterosa or mael i don't know which one but it probably end up being esterosa or mael because my boy amazing actually had you know a little bit of evidence to support that it could be esterosa mael because last year on this specific day liz was um you know liz dropped she was confirmed she dropped on the same day last year the old liz dropped we got a new liz literally today right so um she dropped and then we got what was it meliotis was it a week later or something like that i can't remember exactly the, uh, the specifics but everything is lining up towards um you know maya or esterosa being the festival unit again i don't know which one is like it's gonna be but i'm pretty sure it might end up being um esterosa like corrupted esterosa not regular esterosa like corrupted um berserk i don't know what you call that esterosa but i'm pretty sure it'll be that version of him so we'll see um but as for my yell it could also be my i feel like that's a you know a, a solid guess too because I mean, we did get Ludo Margaret, right? We, we actually did get Ludo Margaret, so it's not completely impossible that we get Mael. But um, as it stands, I, I'm pretty sure it's probably going to be Esterosa. Now, having Esterosa will be good because we don't have another Esterosa besides the green and red one, right? We, are, we actually just have the basic esteros in the game and it's been over a year since he dropped so um i, I think it is time for another esterosa um you know something some you know some esterosa that is powerful enough to compete with the meta not that green esterosa is bad red esterosa sucks but green esterosa is still you know decent because of his passive um you know helping out the stance team and everything like that so he is decent but I don't know if i give him anything other than decent though um because he's not really that strong but if we get a festival esterosa who is you know able to compete with the meta or something like that that's gonna be huge uh he could bring back you know stances he could he could do a lot of stuff like there is so much they could do with a festival esterosa that it's not even funny he could support assault melee so good um you know his color could be red and he could negate color damage like that would be that would be strong imagine he's imagine he's a unit that negates type wheel like oh my god that'd be really really uh crazy but yeah there's so much they could do with this um esterosa if they decide to drop him it could also be this mael uh corrupt i don't know if you would consider him esterosa at this point but uh corrupted esterosa slash mael whatever you want to call him uh, you could do something like that you know where he could be i don't know he could be really like gimmicky with his commandments because again um 
he has all of these commandments inside of him so he has i think it's silence truth um purity there's something else he has but i can't remember is it is it patience i don't know um but he has four commandments so he could do something like that right dark souls boss my is what i call him um i'll probably end up calling him that when he drops so uh yeah he could you know be like a support for not only the demons but the goddess as well that would be really good now i'm not gonna lie that'd be crazy imagine you could imagine he's like um you know uh, I don't want to say lead, but imagine he's like a unit that could have both demon and goddess members on the team buffing them. Like, that would be sick. That would be really, really cool. Um, but yeah, uh, he could do something like that for it. I don't know what the, exactly they would do, but um, I feel like they could make it unique or something like that where he has. I'm not saying he'll have multiple commandments. No, but he could have like his skills be, um, you know, commandment based. Like, I don't know. You know how Gallon has truth. Maybe he has a pet card or something that you know disables buffs and rank ups i don't know something like that that'd be pretty dope i don't know what they would do with it but sure and then it could also just be straight up my l uh, it could just be straight up my l i think that that would be a good unit as well to drop for uh you know the end of the year festival unit because my l is a really really loved character in the series uh the anime didn't do him as much justice but the manga the manga did him really good i, I liked what they did with him in the manga i do want a backstory on him like him fighting the demons eventually but don't know if we'll ever get that he should have something to do with the fortnite of apocalypse too but uh we'll we'll see what happens with that i'm not i'm not really uh too confident on saying that with the uh fortnite of apocalypse but he should be in there uh you know he he should have some you know some new moves coming up but yeah they could do something like like literally with this they, this could be his ultimate like he just throws the sun it makes an explosion it's an aoe disables every skill I, I don't know they could do something like that they could have his passive it's like for every turn that passes he increases all stats by like 15 percent for a maximum of 60 like that would be imagine like that would be crazy and of course you know he'd probably be blue but you know um that, that Marvel loves their blue units they they absolutely love their blue units and it's kind of annoying but it is what it is i hope he is like red or green i don't want him to be blue I, i'm kind of tired of the um the blue festival units. i'm not gonna lie can we not get any more blue festival units for like until the mid 2022 like please <laughs> please but uh yeah i feel like it could be either or like again assault esterosa dark souls boss esterosa or just straight up my eye <laughs> like it could be that as well or it could just be this where he's like both he, he's legitimately both um he has the power of darkness and the power of the uh you know the goddess clan different from this version because he doesn't have commandments i don't think but he just has straight up darkness and light that i'm not gonna i'd simp <laughs> i'm not gonna lie like don't get me wrong i would i would simp for this version this version and my l but this right here i don't know man this is different the fact that he has both right you can literally see it in his eye too like he has the demon eye and he has the goddess eye like i don't know I, i'm like a, I'm, I'm a huge simp for like darkness and light fallen angel type characters and uh my my l definitely fits fits that uh criteria for sure um i think this would be really really cool though uh if he could have some support with the goddess and demon because as much as i hate to say it the goddess clan doesn't get too much love either i, I know they got margaret right um it, it might be crazy to say that but i know they did get margaret but that's really all they got they got margaret tarmio and sario and then that's it you could say goddess elizabeth but i don't think goddess elizabeth is that great anymore um she is toxic as hell and she has some viability in pvp P, uh, pve but i don't think she's that good um but yeah the goddess clan doesn't really get that much love either and if they do get units it's like liz like literally the liz that just came out on jp is so dumb like her thing is so dumb uh, we could be getting new time limited events but if not like that passive is so stupid it, it's really dumb but yeah hopefully he does something with um you know the goddess and demon for all versions right uh for this one he'd probably just be a demon a straight up demon support but for this this and this i could definitely see him becoming um a huge support unit for both races but um that'd be really really sick so let me know what you guys think do you guys think that we're gonna get Mael, dark souls boss esterosa or just a soul esterosa or maybe just this like uh 
um hybrid estro so let me know what you guys think but um we also do have some leaks from regents shout out to regents um elizabeth uh, i'm assuming this is um bloody ellie right the uh, version of elizabeth fighting the demon king now this is strange because i don't know where they're at in the story for jp but i don't think they're even remotely close to the fight with the demon king in uh in the story for where we're at i don't even think they're close so i don't know because i'm pretty sure that this is bloody ellie but it says probably a story character but that's weird because we don't have like we're not even close to the story but they've done strange like they've done strange things like this before where there was a few units that came out before they were supposed to and um uh, you know, for example, they had Excalibur Arthur come out, Purgatory Bond come out, uh, even even like Chad King, like they even had Chad King come out before he's supposed to. So this isn't the first time, but um, the fact that she's a story character is very weird, very very weird. Uh, we'll see though. This is definitely not from three thousand years ago, Ellie, because she has a different outfit on. This is legitimately the outfit that she fought the Demon King with. So I don't, I, I really don't know. And we also have three thousand year version Meliodas, which is very very interesting so maybe he's going to be the side unit that comes out alongside one of these esterosas i could see it i could see it like this mael with this 3000 year version of meliotis yeah definitely a possibility or maybe like assault esterosa with him could could be a thing like it actually could be a thing um so we don't know yet we don't know if this is going to be a story character or if it's going to be an actual summonable character my guess is that it's probably going to be a summonable character simply because story units uh typically when story units come out they usually have a model like every time the story unit comes out they usually have a model but this one only has an asset so i don't know really don't know um but we'll we'll see what end up happening uh let me know what you guys think down in the comments below uh are you hyped for the end of the year festival unit i know you guys are hyped for the 300 gen i don't even have to ask you that but um are you guys excited for, for Mael? uh esterosas uh let me know what you guys think down in the comments below and uh as always you guys already know i will see you all later